nice to see you. Can I, big, get, can I get a big hello? Oh, I can't actually hear you, but I know you're in your lounge rooms or classrooms or uh, dining rooms, wherever you are at home uh, or at school, perhaps, some of you. It's nice to see you. I'm Mr. Horman. Uh, hello, families and kids. I'm here in my shed uh, trying to keep well. Um, I hope you're looking after yourselves and your family. Today we are going to do a bit of a music workout. So this will help you to warm up those vocal cords, get a bit of movement happening. And I'm going to start off with one that some of you will know. Um, it's by a good friend of mine, Bron Lawson. So hopefully you can join in and we will uh, have a bit of a sing and a dance. Here we go. Here we go. It's music time. It's time for music. It's music time. It's time for music. It's music time. Tell me what shall we do? Now I can't actually hear you, so maybe I'll come up with the first three and then you can come up with your own after that. So the first one we're going to do is jump. Here we go. We're going to jump, jump, jump. Yeah, jump. You can jump and jump, jump, and then come back to the floor or the screen, wherever you are. Here we go again. Two, three. It's music time. It's time for music. It's music time. It's time for music. It's music time. Tell me what shall we do? Hmm. Maybe this time you can be a bit of an elephant. So you can have one arm like this and one arm like that and go moving around the room. Here we go. You can be an elephant. An elephant, an elephant, yeah. An elephant, an elephant, an elephant. And then come back to the screen. I'm adapting. <laughs> Here we go, next time. Two, three. It's music time. It's time for music. It's music time. It's time for music. It's music time. Mr. Horman, what shall we do? All right, this time you're going to be hmm, a dog. Here we go. Be a dog. A dog. A dog. Yeah. A dog. A dog, a dog, and then come back to the floor. All right, this time you get to come up with your own. Be creative. See if you can come up with something that no one else watching right now uh, is coming up with. And I can tell you now there's a, uh, 50 other people watching this right now, which is pretty cool. Here we go. Two. Three, it's music time, it's time for music, it's music time, it's time for music, it's music time, your turn to tell me what to do. Here we go, I'm going to play it for you, you do it. to the screen. Let's do one more and you can, can come up with your own. Here we go. Two, three. It's music time. It's time for music. It's music time. It's time for music. It's music time. Tell me what shall we do? Your turn. Off you go. bit of a rock concert there for you. Very good. Okay, hopefully you've warmed up. Hopefully you got to have a bit of a sing as well. Well, 
We're going to practice our singing now, and we're going to pretend to be a bit like a bouncy kangaroo. And we're going to use our voices to follow the shape of the jump of the kangaroo. So it's going to go like that. I'll show you first, and then you can copy after me. Sometimes it's good. Actually, it'll really help if you use your finger to follow the shape on the screen as well. That way you can follow with your voice and your hand. Here we go. Here's the first one I'll demonstrate for you. Woo! Your turn. Very good. I could actually hear some of you from my house here. <laughs> okay, let's go again. I'll go first. Woo! Your turn. Very nice. Let's pretend we're a kangaroo and we're jumping even higher. So we're jumping off the page. So it might go like this. Woo! Your turn. <laughs> Very good. All right, let's do just a little jump and see how your voice changes with just smaller movements. Here we go. Woo! Your turn. Ah, well done. Let's do one more and we'll do it just like this beautiful kangaroo is doing. Here we go. Ready? I'll go first. Woo! Your turn. Very good. Okay, hopefully voices are a little bit more warmed up now. And I actually have a little bit of a friend to introduce you to. And he's a bit of a naughty friend. He uh, sometimes is a bit cheeky. Here he is, and he's a goat. You might be able to see that. Can you see everyone, goatee? Very nice. And he's actually he's actually not my goat. He's my friend's goat. He's Bill Grogan's goat. And we're going to sing a song about Bill Grogan's goat, aren't we? Very nice. So you can sing along too. And the way this song works is I sing the first part, and then you echo after me. All right? So I'll sing a part, you echo and the whole song goes like that. And there's a bit of a funny story about something that you got up to in the holidays, isn't it? Were you a bit naughty? No. See, he knows that he's a good goat. Were you naughty? Good, good. Okay, so he wasn't naughty. That's, hmm. All right, let's have a sing. There was a man, so please take note. There was a man. Who had a goat, he loved that goat, indeed he did. He loved that goat, just like a kid. Now one day that goat, felt frisk and fine, ate three red shirts, right off the line. The man he grabbed him by the back, and tied him to the railroad track. Oh no. Now when that train came into sight, the goat grew pale and green with fright. He heaved a sigh as if in pain, coughed up the shirts and flagged the train. Oh. I'm so glad you're okay, Goaty. You're all good now. Oh, that's so good. Now, did, you didn't really eat three red shirts off the line, did you? No. See, I knew he didn't do it. Did you eat those shirts off the line? No. See, I, I'm not sure. I think this is a made-up Did you actually? Good. Okay. Well, let's try singing again. Singing it again. And... Make sure you echo after me. So that gives you a chance to hear the sound and then sing it with me or sing it after me. All right, you ready, Gody? Very nice. Here we go. There was a man, so please take note. There was a man who had a goat. He loved that goat. Indeed he did. He loved that goat. Just like a kid, one day that goat felt frisk and fine, ate three red shirts oh, right off the line. The man he grabbed 
him by the back and tied him to the railroad track. Oh no! Now when that train came into sight, the goat grew pale and green with fright. He heaved a sigh as if in pain, cuffed up the shirts and flagged the train. Oh, and he flagged the train down and the train managed to stop and he was saved. Well done, Goaty. Now you're going to be a good goat from now on. That's good. I'm glad he's going to. Was he nodding his head? Was he nodding his head? Hmm. Are you going to be a good goat from now on? Good, good. Okay. So let's, we'll, uh, we'll say bye to Goaty for now and we might see him again next time. So make sure you say bye, Goaty. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Now, I've got another song I'm going to teach you today, and it's called Johnny Had One Friend. Poor Johnny. That's okay. He gained some friends over the course of the song, so that's all right. And you need to do some actions with this. So you need to get your fingers, and you need to tap them on your arm. Okay. Now, I'm a bit unfamiliar with this song, so I'll just try and remind myself of how it goes. Okay, here we go. So it goes like this. Johnny had one friend, one friend, one friend. Johnny had one friend, then he had two. So we're counting two. You try it with me. Johnny had two friends, two friends, two friends. Johnny had two friends. Johnny had three. <gasps> He's adding one each time. We're doing a bit of maths here as well. Tick the box, maths teachers. Very nice. Here we go. Johnny had three friends, three friends, three friends. Johnny had three friends, then he had four. Oh, very nice. Here we go. Johnny had four friends, four friends, four friends. Johnny had four friends, then he had five. Very nice. Now, unfortunately, Johnny can't see his five friends at the moment, but he can still talk about them and maybe write about them and maybe call them up on his phone. Let's sing that again. Here we go. Johnny had one friend, one friend, one friend. Johnny had one friend, then he had two. Johnny had two friends, two friends, two friends. Johnny had two friends, then he had three. Johnny had three friends, three friends, three friends. Johnny had three friends, then he had four. Johnny had four friends, four friends, four friends. Johnny had four friends, then he had five. Very nice. Hopefully you were joining in with me then. And we'll do that again another time. Now, this time we're up to a bit of movement. We're going to do a bit of movement. And I have created something here. I've got a plastic Easter egg. Easter was just on the weekend. And uh, I didn't have a shaker at home, so I had to create it myself. So I got one of my plastic Easter eggs and I opened it up and I got some rice and my daughters will be glad to know it's wholemeal rice so they won't have to eat that. <laughs> and I poured it in and I didn't fill it. I just put about that much in. And now it's got a nice shaking sound here. So what I'm going to get you to do, and I want you to join in with me, I'm going to shake. And when I shake, first thing I want you to do is I want you to dance with your thumbs. Just your thumbs are going to be dancing, okay? And you're going to keep dancing, keep dancing, keep dancing. And when the shaker stops, you're going to put your thumb on the ground. And then when the shaker starts again, you're going to dance with your thumb again. And then I might change it up a bit. I might ask you to use a different body part to move. But let's start with our thumbs. Here we go. You ready? Don't put your thumb on the floor. Very nice. I want to see. Now, I, I was just doing that. It's a bit difficult to move your thumb in too many different ways. But see if you can find some creative ways to move your thumb. Here we go. Go put your thumb on the floor. Very nice. Okay. This time when I play the shaker, you're going to dance with your 
elbows. And when the shaker stops, I want you to put your elbow on a wall. And it looks like I'm putting it on the wall right now. <laughs> okay, here we go. You ready? So moving with your elbow. See if you can come up with some creative ways to move with your elbow. Here we go. Go put your elbow on a wall. That's it. Very nice. All right, this time I want you to dance with your shoulders. So whatever that looks like. And then when the shaker stops, you have to put a shoulder on the floor. Be very careful. Don't throw yourself down. Just gently see if you can touch your shoulder on the floor. Here we go. Oh, ready? Quick, put it on the floor. Very nice. Okay. This time, I'm going to let you choose a body part. Think about a body part that you can move and it's just that body part that you've got to try and dance with. So shoulders, we did elbows, we did thumbs, maybe it's your knee, maybe it's your foot, maybe it's just your eyebrows. I know my eyebrows move a lot. Uh, <laughs> so dance with that. And then when the shaker stops, you've got to put that body part on the floor. Okay, here we go. Very nice. Did you find the floor? Very good. Let's do one more body part so you can choose something else. So maybe it's just your fingers. Maybe it's your whole body. And then when the shaker stops, you've got to put that body part on the floor. So it could be your whole body. It could be just your fingers. It could be your knees, feet, whatever it is. Here we go. Ready? Very nice. I hope you found the floor. Excellent, excellent job. All right. It is time for another song that we're going to use our fingers for. Okay. And this song, some of you might know this song. Oh, it's not a song I shouldn't say. It's a little chant that we say. And we use our fingers. And it goes like this. So see if you can copy my actions. You don't have to say the words yet. We're just learning it right now. And see if you can copy my actions. So it goes like this. Five little peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, and so did the rest. They grew and grew and did not stop until one day they all went <laughs> pop. Very nice. And when we clap, I want you to shout pop so loud that your mum and dad or whoever's at home with you right now Stop what they're doing because they're working and they listen out and they know that you're having fun. <laughs> okay. So big loud pop when we do that bit. Here we go. Let's go again. Five little peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, and so did the rest. They grew and grew and did not stop until one day they all went pop. <laughs> did you do it loudly? Are they looking? Are they wondering what you're doing? That's all right. Okay, here we go, one more time. Five little peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, and so did the rest. They grew and grew and did not stop until one day they all went pop. Very good. Hope your ears are okay. I've got a bit of an echoey room here, so that clap was very, very loud. Now, some of you might be wondering what this t-shirt is that I'm wearing. It's one of my favorite, oh, it's not a t-shirt, is, is it a skivvy? It's not a turtleneck, but that's all right. Uh, it's a combination of two of my favorite things, which is pretty cool. So the band that is represented here by these almost four faces, except for that one, is the Beatles. And I love the Beatles music. And it's got lyrics from their song that I'll talk about in a second. And it combines another one of my favourite things. It combines Star Wars with the Beatles. So that's Yoda from Star Wars. And I love the music of Star Wars. John Williams is one of my favourite composers. And this is um, a T-shirt that combines all of this. Now, I can't actually play the song, copyright reasons, but I can kind of give you a bit of an idea of how it works. So it goes, all you need is love. <laughs> All you need is love. 
All you need is love, love. Love is all you need. Because Yoda always mixes his sentences around. Anyway, it's one of my favourites. So I hope you enjoyed that. All right. We're going to finish today's session with a story. And this story actually has a song that, that goes with it. And some of you will be familiar with this song. There's some great actions to this song that you're welcome to join in on if you know it. But we might read it a few times and get used to it. Now, this story is adapted by John Firearbend. And it's illustrated by Melanie Champagne. And it's called My Aunt Came Back. Now, it's a bit, it's, this story is about an ant. And the reason that is is because in the U.S., Obviously, they have a little bit of an accent. They sound different to Australians here. Some of you might be watching in the US. Yeah, probably not. That's all right. <laughs> but uh, when they say ant or aunt, they say ant or they say it in a different way. I'm not going to do an accent. So that's why it's a bit of a play on words. Anyway, the story goes like this. Well, the song goes like this. Oh, my aunt came back. From Timbuktu, she brought with her a wooden shoe. So then you can tap your foot if you like. Oh, my aunt came back from old Japan. She brought with her a waving fan. So you could try tapping your foot and waving your hand at the same time. Oh, my aunt came back from old Algiers. She brought with her a pair of shears. Can you tap your foot and wave your hand and cut with shears at the same time? <laughs> Good luck. Oh, my aunt came back from Guadeloupe. She brought with her a hula hoop. Oh, look at that ant carrying that hula hoop. So now you've got to try and wiggle like this while you're cutting with your shears, waving with your fan, and tapping your foot. Let's see how you go. We'll do it a bit quicker next time <laughs> so you're not doing it for so long. Oh, my aunt came back. From the county fair, she brought with her a rocking chair. Rocking back. Oh, my aunt came back from the city zoo. She brought with her hmm, a nut like you. So hopefully you look a bit crazy and a bit silly doing all those actions all at once. And that's the story. At the back there, it's got the song as well, which is pretty cool. Thank you for joining me today. I've had a, a lot of fun. I hope you've had fun too. It's uh, lovely to be able to give students and children a chance to have a bit of a sing and a musical warm-up uh, and musical workout each day. So I am going to be doing this on weekdays at 11 o'clock each day. Uh, so please come back and join me again. These will be videos will be available though anytime um, after 11 o'clock. So if you can't watch them live, that's all right. Hopefully I'll see you next time. And maybe you can create your own musical instrument. Go easy on the rice. I know it's hard to come by at the moment. Uh, but <laughs> maybe you could find something else that makes a ch -ch -ch sound or maybe something that can tap together to make a sound. Something to make uh, life in isolation and your parents or carers working at home uh, so much more fun when there's a shaky sound in the background. <laughs> anyway, take care of yourselves and I will see you tomorrow.